got a lot of parcels to unpack so I've basically been ordering loads of new things for my next craft fair that is going to be on Sunday in Liverpool and I thought my stall needed a little bit more of a you know a little zhuzh uh, so that's what all this stuff is so I'm going to unpack it and show you guys what I've managed to pick up. This one has got so much bubble wrap, it is insane. And I am gonna be popping this bubble wrap for literal days. <laughs> it is so, so much. <sighs> Did anyone do that when they were a kid? Like they'd get so excited by the bubble wrap and they'd just pop it all. Cause that's literally what I do all the time. <laughs> Whenever I get a boss, I can't stop popping. But yeah. So I'm just going to run through with you what I actually purchased and then I'll kind of show it you in terms of how I think it's going to look on the stand. So first of all, from display, I think it's, let me double check, I can't get my words out. Display Stands Limited, I got these two perfect display units. So this one has got three tiers. So I was thinking I could put three art prints in that. And then this one is a bit of a bigger one, but I think it's more like for cards or maybe A5, depending on the size. Um, I'm going to have to work that out. But the one that I had before, I'll just insert a picture. Um, basically, every time it blew like wind, like wind blew, or if there was like a sudden gust, like the prints would just fall off. So it wasn't very secure. And what, my, what I'm thinking is this is going to look a little bit more professional and a little bit more secure than the other one that I had. I'm still going to keep it because I'll probably swap and change um, depending on what craft fairs I'm going to. But overall I wanted something that isn't going to be like blowing over every five, five minutes because it can get a little bit messy. And I think as well when I'm sorting out my stand I feel like people don't want to come and have a look because it looks so messy. So they're the first two things that I've purchased. I will leave all links and everything down below for all of the stuff that I have purchased. Um, just in case you guys are looking for some stuff for your craft fairs. Next thing I got was this, I think it's actually acrylic, not Perspex. I don't know what I'm talking about. I think it's acrylic. <laughs> Please don't come to me with all your material knowledge needs. So I got this, which is like a makeup brush holder, but I was thinking I could put in my bookmarks in each of the bits, just to make it look a bit, you know, build everything up and make it look a bit more cute. So I got that and I feel like I got quite a lot to be fair. I probably didn't actually need all this, but some of it I might send back. I don't know, we'll see. And the final thing I got was this really cute little price stand sign which comes with a little stand to put it on and then all all of the letters you could possibly need now i have got one of these already but it's got a gray background and i like the fact that this one's got a black one because i think it actually stand out a lot better because i think the gray one it does get a little bit lost sometimes and it kind of yeah, it does aggravate me, I can't lie. <laughs> um, so I picked up that, which I'm really excited about. This is kind of basically the same as the Perspex one, but a bit bigger. So I don't know if I'll keep this. I might send it back, depending on what I think about the clear one, because I don't think I need to on a stand. Um, but yeah, I picked up this as well. So I'm gonna put the products in so you can actually see my ideas and my what i was envisioning <laughs> envision envisit i can't say that word envisaging cut the camera <laughs> really quickly just put some prints and 
uh, pins into the two am I calling it acrylic or am I calling it perspex I just don't know we'll just call them display stands because that's just going to make life a lot easier so I'm so happy with how this one's turned out I think this one looks great um I'm really happy because it has got another tier there but when you put a print there it completely blocks off the prints so you can't really see them very clearly from a distance so I think it's actually better just keeping it simple and having you know four oops four prints on the actual stand and then maybe a couple of pins at the bottom here just to just add a little bit more decoration and just show the pins off catch people's eye and things so I'm really happy with this one this one is definitely a keeper and then this one I do like but I am kind of disappointed with because you can't really see the prints that are in the back which is really what I would like to, like I would like to at least be able to see a little bit so it pique somebody's interest to maybe have a look at more so I'm wondering if I could possibly put some cardboard at the bottom here just to make it so they stand up higher so I might give that a go and see what happens with that but yeah I am pretty happy with with overall how they look and how they've turned out definitely love this one I think this one looks great that one might need some work or people might I don't know people might just want to do that I don't know overall I, I am happy with both but yeah this one's the winner for me so what i've managed to do is get some polystyrene cubes and just put them in inside the back ones there and that just helps to just lift the prints up a bit um so when it's sitting in the print you can actually see you can actually see a little bit of the next print above it so i'll have to maybe just be a bit picky on what prints i put in this one um to catch people's eye but overall i think that works a lot better now i've put the cubes in so that is a top tip for you guys i can't lie i am a little bit gutted because i thought that they were going to be able to sit that way so they would be like facing but they're not they've got to go that way so i'm not so sure if i am that happy with that i mean it looks quite nice it could look okay on the table just to have on the side of something just to catch people's eye in case they're not looking at the table but overall i'm kind of annoyed with myself because i wish i'd got one where they actually fit that way so double check that but i still think they look quite tidy in there and i can have them like i could have them just like next to one of these stands at the side where people might it might they might just catch their eye and they might just see them and they look really tidy so yeah that that's a slight fail but not a hundred percent fail so in my head i thought i was actually gonna hate this stand and not like it but actually i'm not hating this i think it works quite well i think you can see the prints i could have smaller prints at the bottom and then bigger prints at the top and go in like a tier so it's really built up and it draws people's eye in i think you can really see these print the second prints really well so yeah you you are intrigued to see what the whole piece looks like which is really good that's what i like so actually i'm really happy with this i think it works well and i think it's gonna look great on the stand so pleased with how this has turned out i think it looks so cute on the little stand and i think it's going to be perfect now because uh, i'm not going to have to worry about where it's going to lean against or anything because it's got the cute little stand and i think the black as well just helps to make the writing stand out so people can see the prices really clearly so i am buzzing about that i think this is my favorite purchase i'm not gonna lie <laughs> So here is my little market stall and I'm just showing you here my new We Accept card payment stand which I actually got um, on the day, the day before I was going on the Saturday, that's why I didn't show it you earlier in the video and it was from this Etsy seller and actually I think it did help things, I can't lie, um, a lot of people didn't really ask me about payment because I had the big sign 
And then here is the stand and how I laid out the different um, display points. And they've really worked well because I feel like they helped to really draw people in because I was able to put more prints out than what I normally had done in the past. Um, and it kind of gives people a bit more of a chance to see what you actually have on offer. And then that was the A2 print that I took with me which I definitely think I should have taken too um but yeah this is my overall look it's actually a few days later now after the craft fair I've recovered um and I'm back in to working and everything now uh, so I thought I'd just come on and give a little bit of a of sort of like an update on how the actual craft fair went in terms of like football and everything so the footfall was actually really good I was actually super worried because um we had that heat wave in the UK and we had a couple of days where it was super hot and this was one of those days where it was just roasting um from the start of the day but that didn't seem to deter people which I was super happy about it was really great to see and everyone seemed like they were all in a great mood and everyone was so chatty as well and really friendly. Sometimes at craft fairs, I, I can, it can be a bit of a tough crowd. Uh, sometimes I think people get a bit nervous about coming up to your stand and stuff, which is completely understandable. I get like that as well. But this one, everyone seemed to be so welcoming and so happy and just in a general good mood, which obviously made the day go 10 times quicker. Um, and I think my stand did look great. I have learned a couple of things. One of them being the big A2 frames. I think if I'm going to be bringing them, I probably should bring two with me uh, because I found that that one that I sold went within like the first hour. So I kind of feel like I probably should have a have a backup one because I did find the bigger print kind of drew people in and to come and have a look at the stand and caught people's attention a little bit more so I definitely think taking two bigger frames is a good idea but taking like frames in general I think is a good idea because I think it gets people actually thinking about the fact that they are buying a print to put on a wall I know it sounds like really realistic but sometimes I think people just need showing showing how to do something or they just want to buy it ready-made which I completely understand um so that is a definite must I also think I need to start thinking about how I'm going to display pins because I think I could improve how I display them but I'm just not too sure how I want to do it and also I don't know whether I should start maybe bringing another small table with me to put more things on because I'm getting to that point now where I am completely filling the tables that you get given at the craft fairs so I don't know whether I need like another small table to have other products and things on but that is for a later day. <laughs> also, another thing that I learned was um, a technique. I take a flask or something for you to drink. Because what I've randomly discovered is whenever I'm like pouring myself a cup of coffee and I sort of look a little bit busy, I get more people coming up to the stand. I don't know why that is. I don't know if that's because people feel less intimidated to come up to the stand because you are doing something or if they, I don't know, it's just a coincidence, but it just seems like a strange coincidence to have happened on multiple occasions because literally every time I've gone to get a cup of coffee and just pour myself and have a little break, somebody's come up, which is really good. Um, so maybe try and make yourself look busy sometimes and just see if that tactic works in getting people to walk on over and stuff so that's something I've learned but let's just share with you how I actually did so I'll give you a little bit of breakdown of the costs and everything the stall cost me 50 pounds petrol was around about 40 pounds when I worked it out on my um, accounting software um, and then the parking was six pounds and I did it in Liverpool and I actually parked at, well, I say I parked, my boyfriend went and parked the car at the cathedral and that was six pounds all day and that was pretty good because it's not too far away from the market itself. Um, it is a little bit of a walk if you've got stuff with you, but if you can get someone to come and move the car or if you can just run over and move the car, um, then yeah, it's a good 
good sparking spot and price for the day. That brings me to £96 worth of um, sort of costs on the day. And then what I actually ended up making was £460, which I was so pleased with. Um, I think city markets seem to be the better option for me personally. Uh, when I do local ones, they seem to not do so well. I don't know if that's because of the footfall or just that maybe the same people go to the market again and again so they get used to seeing you. I don't really know, but yeah. So all in all, I had a, a total profit of £364, which I was so pleased with. I think that was a really successful market. And I did have sort of an increase in sales as well after the market, which I was really pleased with. Um, so yeah, I think I'll probably do the Liverpool one again, but I kind of don't want to do the same market every month because I think if the same people are going there, then I don't want to just keep on you know, seeing the same faces because the potential of them buying another print, I don't know, is maybe a bit more slim. Um, but yeah, it was such a successful day. I highly recommend doing the Liverpool market and giving it a go. Thank you for getting to the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, comment and subscribe, do all that kind of jazz for me. It really helps me out. And other than that, I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you again next time. Bye.